So today we're gonna to be going over Blackstone Labs Multi. I'm gonna be going over the ingredient profile, a few ingredients within the ingredient profile, the T matrix, my experience using it, and my thoughts, so let's get into this. So let's bring up the ingredient profile on the screen here and let's go over it a little bit. So jumping right into the vitamin profile, just so you guys know, these are all high quality vitamins that are in here. These are the high quality versions. There are lower grade versions of like vitamin D3 or vitamin D, vitamin K, B12, but these are the more highly absorbable vitamins that you can buy. And just so you guys know, this vitamin has iron in it. It has 3.6 milligrams. And just a little bit of information, iron deficiency affects 2% to about 20% of the population, depending on your ethnicity. And symptoms of iron or being without iron, if your body can't produce enough iron, iron helps deliver a substance in the blood cells, the red blood cells that enables the red blood cells to carry oxygen throughout the body. So when you're working out and training, if you have enough iron in your system, you're going to get better oxygen delivery to your muscles, to your brain, throughout your whole body. So I actually like the idea. I've never taken a multi with iron in it, but I see the benefit for having iron in here. So the next thing I want to go down to is the minerals. The minerals are high quality minerals. So most of them are chelated, chitlated. Those are the, the high quality minerals there. They actually absorb in the body. It's not much more than the sulfated ones and the oxide ones. It's in between 10 and 15% better absorption from a chelated mineral to a sulfated mineral or an oxide. And one thing that I didn't really care for was the idea of how low a few of them are. So I kind of get what they possibly were getting at here. As far as the minerals, we're already actually getting a lot of minerals. If you look at your pre-workout, if you look at your EAAs, your BCAs, your intra-workouts, your post-workouts, you're going to find that you're going to already have magnesium, potassium, sodium, a lot of the minerals already in there. Plus, you should be in a healthy diet, and you're going to get a lot of it, a lot of them from there too. And minerals only are well absorbed, just a little tip, if you're hydrated. So hydration is the key to holding on to those minerals. So make sure that you're drinking enough water and you are staying hydrated through your workouts, after your workouts, before your workouts, just stay hydrated. So now, onto the tea matrix. So this is a proprietary blend, which I don't like. I don't like not knowing how much of something is in there, but it is what it is. And it consists of tribulus, fenugreek, maca, and long jack. So first here is tribulus. What does tribulus do? What do the studies say? It decreases heart rate, blood pressure with those of high, with hypertension, increases libido in men and may in women as well. And when I say may, if I ever say may in here, that just means that there isn't enough studies to actually confirm that it actually does. It increases, inf increases fertility it may improve blood sugars and A1C levels. It may also increase DHT and PSA levels, which is not a good thing. It does have chemicals that might increase levels of hormones. However, it does not increase testosterone in humans. Then we're going on to maca. Maca increases libido in men and women, increases a sense of well-being, decreases symptoms of menopause, may be able to help with different sexual dysfunctions, but it does not as well increase testosterone. Fenugreek has been researched for its potential to lower blood sugar, increase libido, and naturally increase testosterone. But it's important to note that some of the studies that found increases in testosterone levels were sponsored by companies that had an investment in the fenugreek products, uh, products being tested. It may help reduce DHT levels, body fat, and may reduce triglyceride levels, but more research needs to be done. My favorite herb is the last one here, which is long jack. Now, long jack has been shown to reduce cortisol levels, increase libido, increase sperm and motility, Reduce stress, gives a better state of well-being, and may elevate testosterone levels, power output, and increase strength. These are all done through studies. And the increase in testosterone levels off a of long jack are not your total testosterone. Long jack has been shown to increase free testosterone. So I only got a couple more days left of Blackstone Labs Multi. And will I be buying another bottle? Dun, 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 dun. Yes. So I really like this product. I... I like, even though you know now that most of these herbs in here are not gonna increase testosterone. And PJ Braun did admit this is supposed to be a hint of a test booster. And that's basically what it is. We They use and formulate all these herbs together because there's more to testosterone than just boosting your testosterone. There's all kinds of other hormones that are involved in actually boosting and raising testosterone levels, whether it's boosting your free testosterone, 
but you have estrogen involved, you have DHT, you have all kinds of different hormones that allow you to grow muscle and also increase strength and feel good. And a lot of these are very high quality herbs, a lot of research done on them. And a lot of them have a lot to do with stress levels and your state of well-being. And when you take this product, you, you do feel it. Now, like I said, it's a hint. So you, you have to kind of like be in tune with your body to actually after a few days go, you know what, I'm feeling better or I have more energy. I have taken Apex Mail before and I think you take this in Apex Mail and it's gonna really do a good job as far as jacking up your uh, hormonal levels, not just your T, but pretty much everything. And a lot of guys have had really good luck on uh, Apex Mail. So this is Dave signing off. I'll be back with another one. We'll see you guys next time on the channel.